All right, YouTube, so I'm back at you finally with part three or part four of uh, putting this Alta back together. Like you guys saw, if you guys haven't seen previous videos on all the parts here, I got all the parts back, or enough parts here to do part one of the reassembly um, of this build series. So go over the parts really fast. Got everything back from powder coat. Um, it's like a semi-gloss black. Then I got everything back from Josh. Um, as far as the Cerakote goes, uh, I'm not really going to get to any of maybe like the front brake, but in this video probably won't get to um, some of these parts, but regardless, I'm going to crack at it. We got the main like frame thing under here I have covered along with all the electronics, the triple clamps over here. Um, I don't know how the tricky part is going to be propping this frame thing up on the stand and trying to work on it since Alta, when they put these together, they have a specific like stand thing that holds this whole thing together. Figure it out, all the oil's probably gonna leak out too. Since it's turned on the side, I don't have the cover back yet. We'll figure it out, we'll get this thing on the stand, and we'll crack on with putting this bad boy back together. If you guys are new here and this is the first video you're watching, definitely hit the subscribe button down below if you wanna see me build this Alta, complete it. Nobody's ever taken apart an Alta or done anything like this as far as my understanding. If there is somebody that's done it, like me and take the entire thing apart. Link it down below, I'll check it out. But as far as, like I said, I think I'm the only one to ever take apart their Alta to this. Get this mainframe on the stand and uh, start the time-lapse build process. on the, the main bulkhead here. As you can see, I sanded down most of the powder coat here aside from a little bit. Um, it should be okay. If I can't get it on, then I'll have to sand it down a little bit more. But uh, from watching the Alta videos of them assembling it, since there's no instructions, looks like they went from the top. So uh, I guess we'll just push it down and hopefully it goes back on because taking it off was a really big pain. Gotta get this one preset in here and then I'll go through and do the other ones and then go back and lock like this one last just to get this held in place. Otherwise, I'm afraid it's going to uh, fall apart.
guys didn't understand that whole time lapse. Um, what happened was I put this main bulkhead on, not realizing that when I took it off, in order to get all this um, electrical stuff in this little slot, since there's this bracket here, and then there's another little bracket piece um, up right there that this little thing just slips perfectly into. So uh, there's no way to actually finagle this part in with the amount of space without sliding this whole thing up and then sliding it in. So luckily I didn't nick up any of the powder coat. It's good to go, that was my main worry of nicking it up, but in this crease along here. And I'll uh, plug everything in. I cannot plug the battery in or put the battery in tonight because I'm missing, or I thought I only needed these four heat shrink um, tube things for the coolant lines. So uh, I don't have the ones for uh, right here and right here to uh, hook it up before I put the battery in just to make my life a little bit easier. But I can screw in all the electrical stuff and have it ready to go to just uh, put the battery in and then put that other under frame on and then pick the rest of the parts up from Josh. I can also put the triple clamps and stuff on just to get it ready to go and I'll get the bars and that whole uh, control center bar pad thing going. Finally process, I'm not trying to rush anything. I'm trying to take my time, make sure it gets done right so I don't have to come back because if I have to come back, it's gonna be a super huge pain. I just want to avoid that completely. So uh, I'm stoked on how it looks so far. It's gonna look even better um, once I get the black covers on and whatnot. This is just the most awkward part right here. Um, but I think it'll look fine once I integrate some of the other um, raw parts on there that'll kind of match this. Um, I decided just to leave the hubs for now. That way it'll match that somewhat. We'll see once I get everything back together. Good to go in here. All I have to do is attach this uh, pump thing up in here with these tooth screws. Um, my camera's about to die. It's like 11.30 p.m. I still have to get some more parts, some uh, red stuff for the hoses or for the wires that come out through here. So actually I gotta undo these and then run the wires through and then I can re-bolt that down. And then tomorrow, same day as this video's going up, I'll put on some more parts and I'll cap this video off. But so far I think it looks sweet. It's coming along and uh, yeah. Pretty good progress for, for tonight. And for everyone that said I wasn't gonna get this thing back together, come on. Come on now. Okay, so it is the next day here. I just went to the store, got some parts, or some supplies to uh, do what I wanna do. I just got some uh, red zip ties that kinda tie everything together, get a little bling factor. And they didn't actually have what I wanted at the store, like AutoZone or any like auto parts store, at least at mine. Um, basically what I'm trying to do, what I was looking to do, is one, find two more of these heat shrink tube things, but they don't have it, I have to order it. So uh, I'm gonna be waiting on those. I might still be able to put the battery in um, as long as I can get the hoses on this little, these two fittings here. So basically what I wanna do is since uh, I undid this. These wires have to run up through here. Once it gets clamped down, they run up to the front and then they go up into the bars and all the controls. So since these, it's kind of on the black on black, you won't see it as much. But I was looking for some red heat shrink tubing to actually put over this so then it looks like it, there's red wires coming out on both sides, but um, they don't have it. So temporarily, I'm gonna order up some stuff on Amazon or look and see if I can even find um, big enough heat shrink tubing to go around um, this wire. I'm just gonna wrap it really tight in some red electrical tape, and then I can come in later on or after and then put the red heat shrink tubing on, but for right now, this will look pretty cool, I think. They also had some other plastic, um, like sheathing stuff to go on. I thought that would look kind of cheap, so I didn't end up going with that, but. For now, red tape it is, and we'll get all that buttoned up to the front.
All right, so I got them all pulled through. I don't know if I'm really happy with the way it looks. Um, I don't know, if you look at it from a distance, it's fine, but once you get close, I'm definitely gonna have to look into and order up some of that longer red heat shrink tubing. I just don't like how it, you see all the ridges and stuff. It's just not legit, so I'll look into it more, but for right now, I guess this is fine. Um, huge, huge shout out to uh, Specbolt for hooking it up with every single bolt. Um, for the Alta to make it look bling, nice and shiny, um, kind of like the KX125 build is with all the bling bolts and whatnot. So if you want to check out Spec Bolt, all the links down below in the description to get any bolts for any bike. Say you want to do a bike build or you just want spare bolts and washers and stuff for uh, any dirt bike, it's really convenient to have like a little uh, kit shown over here. You can have one of these bins and it comes with everything you would possibly need. So check them out, Spec Bolt. I'll give you a little rundown on the website and uh, how you're gonna order yours if you're uh, looking into it. So we got all these little bling red washes and stuff which is gonna go on there. Some red bolts right here. Again, huge shout out to Spec Bolt. Check them out. Well, um, kind of difficult to do this one-handed and having to worry about this thing falling over. So go uh, round two, try and get this. Just trying to press the bearing into the, the, uh, the head tube uh, rod thing, if that makes sense. try and press this on and then i uh, use the mallet and a socket to actually press um, bearing on here so I should have everything ready to go slide this in grab the bearing and it's just getting to press it on here is the issue if you guys couldn't tell so it's on there a little bit now grab a socket it's probably not the best for the bearing but uh, I really don't have another choice I just need to get it enough so I can then thread thread all this on there, this nut on the triple clamp so I can just pull it together. See if this fits now. I still can't, still can't get this on. Barely. There's like no threads for this to grab. No. There we go, get some threads on there now. Maybe. There we go. Boom, boom, everything looks lined up. Oh, this thing's falling. See, this is the problem. Can't hold this, a piece of wood's propping it up. Here's a little pro tip for you guys that wanna take apart your Alta that got inspiration. Oh, I'm caught. Got inspiration from my build. Don't take it apart. Don't do it. Don't do it, because Unless you have the Alta stand like to build it. Pull it all into place. I thought I was stripping it at first. I had a little panic attack, but going slowly. Boom. All right, now we can do it. Knew that was gonna happen. I'm surprised that didn't happen sooner the bike back on the stand um, still sketchily on there but um it's going to work so we'll put this clamp back on now that we got the seal on there and we will press it all and we should be good I really wanted to get to the uh, the bars and that whole um, the whole control center thing today but in this video at least but I just don't have the time because I still, it's currently like 12.45, I gotta go in, find music, edit the video, and get it all posted. And then me and Ryan are, all right, I gotta figure out how I'm holding this. And then me and Ryan have to, uh, this is an awkward angle. Me and Ryan have to go to the DMV and register our sleds and get everything good to go because the plan is to go riding next week after Christmas. So a uh, little day trip to go ride. That came off of that, so that's good. Loosen these up from the bottom. I gotta come back and lock tight these. Just for now to snug it down, stone. This thing's all pushed off to the side. It's so sketchy on here. If anybody has a better solution than to not use a piece of wood pressed up against whatever this thing is, let me know because there's no way to hold it down anywhere. The pegs can't go on unless that other under mounts on or 
I could wrap a strap on the whole thing, but that's not really gonna help it from teetering like side to side or forward and back. So if anyone knows, let me know. And then I guess we could size up the bars really quick. Let's get these bars out. Could be the ones, nope, these ones. Boom. Either they pretty much put red Loctite on everything on this bike. It's funny because it's the bike that vibrates the least amount and they Loctited literally everything. But just enough to hold it on. But the bars aren't gonna move anywhere for right now. Hopefully in the next video, I'll pick up the rest of the parts for uh, the build, the shock, the forks, the, uh, the covers and everything. And I uh, will get everything all squared away. Um, I'm gonna try in a couple different angles with the GoPro, kind of like a first person point of view. Get the linkage, everything good to go. I'm thinking maybe two, two more build videos to get it fully rebuilt, maybe three, but I'm thinking two. Um, we will see on that, but uh, yeah, good to go. A little progress made on this bad boy over uh, last night and today, so. All right, so I made decent progress on the Alta. I put the bars in there to uh, see what it's gonna look like, kind of roughly, but like I said, waiting on the forks, shock, a few other little things, and then I'll uh, we'll get chugging along, putting this bad boy back together. But uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think so far. Um, you can't really judge how it's gonna look since uh, none of the other covers and such are on there yet. Give me some uh, tips on what you think I should do um, as far as that stand unit and propping this thing up. But uh, yeah, all these other parts still have to get put on there. Pretty much all this over here is getting replaced to uh, the spec bolt stuff, which will look a lot nicer. I'm still waiting on pegs. Those will come in around January. And then I'm still waiting on graphics and plastics. So uh, yeah, a few other parts are still coming in. I'm gonna cap the video up here. If you guys wanna see more, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Click that little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. Um, give me a follow on Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan, so you can see this thing take shape before the actual vlogs come out, along with the uh, build Instagram page for the CR125. All the future two-stroke builds along with the CR125, everything's gonna be posted on the Instagram as I'm doing it um, before the videos come out. So if you wanna stay up to date on this thing and this build, um, it's just at Project Two Strokes on Instagram. Give it a follow. Give me a follow on both accounts if you wanna stay up to date, like I said, before the videos come out. So I'm gonna cap this video off here. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.